missed it. I was hoping I was just gonna reach around and hit it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I really was. Oh! After you, Mr. Hermit. You know the rules for the place that shall not be named. Yes. I go first. So that if something bad happens, it happens to me first. Yeah. That is the rule. <laughs> oh, not these. Dang it, I hate these. <laughs> I know exactly where we are now. Try a different tire on this next round. Are you? Yes. What's it gonna be? I think I'm gonna try the Kenda. Let's see what is it? That's a Kenda. Is it the 277 maybe? Okay. I don't know. I mean, it, it looks it looks about the same as all these tires. Do you know what you know what I recommend? Uh, D606. Yep. I've done lots of D606. Yeah. A couple of those. They're good. Have not let me down yet. Yeah, they're good. The Kendas are uh, cheap. They're cheap. Yeah, they cost them. They're inexpensive. Okay. So if I can find, if I find it and it works well, uh -huh. then great. I'll save myself a few bucks every time I want to change a tire. What are you rocking right now? MT 21s. MT 21. How's that last? Uh, they last well. I mean, all around the MT 21s I like the best. They, yeah. They feel like a regular dirt tire on the dirt. They yeah. do fine on pavement. They actually do, for a knobby tire, they do really well on rain. Yeah. And um, and they last a little bit better than the D606. Okay. Um, now a lot of the times when I pick tires, it's because of the uh, the sizes. Because like not every manufacturer makes the size that I want for the particular bike. Well, you know, I, I, uh, I had a really good question myself. Yeah. And one actually that I just answered for some another new rider. Yeah. This was when I was new. Was can you use a different size tire on an 18 inch rim? And the answer is to a certain point, yes. Okay. Uh, the D606 does not come in the DRZ stock size. Okay. What's the DRZ stock size? Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know. Uh -huh. But uh, I think it takes. Uh, is it 120 80? I think it's 90. 120, 90? Okay. 120, 90, and the D606 is a 110. Uh-huh. So yeah, D606 totally fits on the DRZ rim, even but though... Can get, but you can get the... Actually, it goes in 120 and 130. I think you can get that in the 130. Oh, can you? On the width, yeah. The D606? Yeah, D606. Maybe it is 120. You can get 130. Um, but it's on the same rim, the same stock rim. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it... So the tire sizes, you got um, like, like a 120... 80 to 18, right? That's your size. Right. So your 120 is the width. Mm -hmm. The next number, the 80, is the percentage of the width. Yeah. In height. Okay. Right. So, uh, so a 120 90 is taller than a 120 80. Right. Right. Because that's uh, 120 is uh, 90 would be 90 percent of 120. Right. 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 So, and then, the, and then the 18 is the inner diameter. So, if it's an 18. But if it's not an 18, then no way. It ain't gonna fit. Right. As There's long as it's an 18, trail. it'll fit. Yeah. Well, no. That's not so true. So that's... That's not true. 74. Do it! Do it! <laughs> yeah, so, so the problem is on a lot of bikes, uh -huh. you can get too wide of a tire, right? Yeah, well then it ends up rubbing the wheel wells. Right, so, so, uh, like, so a 130, like a 130, 118 uh -huh. isn't going to fit on a lot of bikes that take 18 inch tires. Oh, okay. Because it's too wide. Way too wide. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so. What about, have, but height on these bikes isn't really an issue. Um, well, like you could put a 140 on there. Like they make one, like, they're, like if you found like a 140, 80 or 140, 90, 18, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you wouldn't want that on there. Because when your suspension compressed, it would rub? No, actually, because uh, I think it's actually just too wide for the uh, 
with the swing arms. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. I remember, you know, or maybe like when the tire compressed, it would come up in the fender and tear some crap up. I don't know. Right. But yeah, so that's that's your problem there. And then, uh, and then the other thing is, um, if you have a much taller tire, then that, that's like running a different gear. Right? Right, because, yeah, because it's going to spin at a different ra uh, ratio. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, so you know, if you got your bike geared the way you want it, then you don't want to change how tall the tire is. Uh-huh. Right? Or well, if you I, do change how tall the tire is, then you might want to change your gears to get it the way you want it again. But what affecting, what, what, what changing that, I mean, within, you know, from a 90 to a 110, would that really affect your gearing all that much? Um, if I think it'd be enough to, for some, to bother some people, you know, like I think the difference between like an 80 and a 100 would definitely bother some people. So it'd be noticeable. Yeah, I think oh, so. Uh, okay. Yeah, and then then the other thing is the weight of the tire, right? Yeah. So if you're running like a like a, a 250, like the WR 250R here, right? Yeah. I think I could put a 130, like a DOZ. This is why I don't have a D606 now. It's because the the closest diameter, like to the tallness, uh -huh. to, to what I like, uh -huh. only comes in a 130. Okay. And, and you know, you get a you get a wider footprint, so you get some better traction. Yeah. But that's a heavy tire. Right. A heavier tire, and this bike just doesn't really have the power to appreciate. Like it just. It, it doesn't. Do it. It, it doesn't need more work. Yeah, it doesn't it need. need yeah. It needs less work. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's got enough going against it. Right. Oh, right. And and a thinner tire is more agile. You yes. know, so when you're doing twisties, you want a thinner tire, not a thicker tire. Right. Right. So you got all these things. You got what kind of ride you're doing, what kind of terrain you're on, um, your riding style, uh -huh. uh, the power of the bike, the gearing of the bike, um, uh -huh. and how much clearance there is. Uh -huh. well, those things all matter. And so on this bike, um, I, I run an MT21. I love the MT21. Um, I probably won't ever put a D606 on it because I don't like the 130 size D606 for this bike. Right. But on a DRZ 400, I think it's fine. Yeah. And, and I ran that exact same tire when I was driving the DRZ 400. I ran the D606, but I think it was like a, a 130-90, something like that. Yeah, that's what I liked. I could yeah. hop on your bike, and it was just like riding mine. Yeah, you know, and then my, my, Close, uh, you know? my XRs, their stock size, are, I think, are like 110, 100, uh -huh. 18s. And um, uh, those bikes, I think, benefit from the agility of that thinner tire. Yeah. So I'm trying that, and uh, I may not like it. I may decide that I'm slipping too much on stuff like this, uh -huh. and I might have to do something, do something else. But I'm just trying the stock size, just out of the box. And the stock size, I can't get in the MT21 or the D606. Gotcha. So I ended up getting a, a AC10 on that one. All right. Yeah. So, so I mean, there's, these are uh, these are questions that I had when I when I was new to riding. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's one more thing that makes it even more of a mess. Huh. Every manufacturer measures a little differently. Really? So, like a 120-90 on one manufacturer might be the same as a 110-100 on another manufacturer. No way. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, well, that's, that's the nice thing about standards is we got so many to choose from. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so these are a lot of questions that I had when I was new. And it's stuff that just kind of the a normal layperson that was trying to get into riding yeah. wouldn't even think about. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't even think about it. You go buy yourself a dual sport. You know, like tires are tires, you know, there's get the size that goes on the bike. Yep. And that's not how it goes. Yep. yep. Hey, I got another one for you. Huh. What about tire pressure? When I was new, I had a hard time figuring out what the freaking tire pressure I should use. Now, you know, I've talked about that a bit on the channel. Yeah? Um, what I have <laughs> figured out about tire pressure, uh -huh. it is it is 100% subjective. Uh -huh. uh, when you're riding in the dirt, you need to find the tire pressure that is good for you. Yeah, I know, but what's too low and what's too high? Okay, uh, that depends on the tire. Uh -huh. um, but with what I ride, the D606, and what I recommend, mm -hmm. um, that also depends a lot on your weight and how much load you have on the bike. Uh -huh. So for me, 300 pounds, six foot three, uh, carrying probably 30 pounds a year, uh -huh. uh, if not more. Yep. I ride uh, I ride 18, 18 in the right. dirt most of the time. Yep. Um, if I go down to say uh, 15, which uh -huh. is where a lot of people like to ride, uh -huh. uh, I will end up feeling the rim yeah. if I if I run into something hard. Yep. And I think kind of uh, riding the dirt, the best thing that you could do. And there's actually, here's a great test that a guy mentioned the other day uh, uh, in the comments on the channel. He said, uh, he said, what I did to figure out my tire pressure, this is a great method. Uh, I went around my neighborhood and I found a spot where there was a curb and, 
you know, nobody's house. And I just, trail speed, ran dead smack into it. Mm -hmm. And he said, I lowered my tire pressure a little bit each time until I felt the rim. Okay. And then once I felt the rim, I kicked it back up one increment of whatever I, he was doing. Yeah, I don't know. He I don't remember specifically. That, that, that also sounds like a great way to bend your rim. Well, he was okay. smacking into it. Right? That's okay. what I'm saying. He was like riding up it, like like we ride up a rock. Okay. You know. Yep. And also, these rims are damn strong, Herbie. I've, I've wailed on these rims, and they they haven't bent yet. All right. So. So, right, so I, I, well, I would say, just to add to that, I would say... Um, if you damage your stuff, that's your own fault. <laughs> I would say when you get down below, um, you know, 13, 14 PSI, uh -huh. then you probably want to have uh, rim locks on. Yes. Uh, otherwise, you could spin the, the rim and the tire and snap the valve. Correct. So, you know, there is a way to go too low. At, a, um, at 18, go, 18, I've never had that be a problem, and I do not have rim locks on Xena. Okay. And also, if you get uh, too low, then you're going to get pinch flats. Yeah. So you got to be careful of that. Yeah, um, nope. pinch flats suck. Yeah, and if you go too high, then you know you have traction problems. Uh huh. Um, you know, I, I, I ride 18, 18 a lot when I'm doing dual sport. When I'm like on the road and off the road, uh -huh. I do 18, 18. Um, if I was inclined to give somebody advice, um, I would not tell them to ride 18, 18. Yeah. Because uh, the bike has a sticker on it that says that the recommended tire pressure is a lot higher than that. Right. And I don't want anybody to blame me for their stupidity. Well, that's what I say. They, so they I'm not be... saying to use 1818. Right. I'm just saying that's what I do. That's what I do too. Okay. So form your own opinion. Yeah, and then when I'm off road, I run um, like 1515. Yes, sir. Now yeah. that is strictly when you are trailing it. Yeah, when, yeah, when I'm just not on the pavement at all. And, and even sometimes that's a problem because if you're hitting some really harsh, sharp rocks, that's that can be too low. <laughs> you know what I just thought was kind of funny? What? I don't even know what the proper tire pressure for a D606 of the DRZ is. Yeah. I just know what I run it at, and that's it. Yeah. Well, when yeah. I when I was riding the DRZ 400, uh, still uh, 1818 is what I what I rode. Yeah. But I'm not telling anybody else to ride 1818 or try it out or, or start there if they're just uh, trying to figure this out. Right. I'm not giving them advice. Right. They should they should not run 1818. They, they should not run 1818. They should not ride the motorcycle at all. It's dangerous. They'll get killed. Um, at, at 1818. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, 674B, isn't that what we wanted? Um, yeah. Or was that 5B? Yeah, I don't know. One of them you said B was... A more direct route. But yeah. whatever. I don't really care. It's beautiful out here. Yeah. Three, you know, four, I don't five. even have to do this part. Yeah. I could have just gone home. You could have <laughs> been like, you're on your own, dude. Yeah, see you, dude. I'm sure you'll be fine. And then I was like, oh. No. Hammer's going to go ride more trails. I got to go. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys have any tire questions, uh, please throw up a comment. Uh, throw up a like on the video. Uh, we're gonna try and get into another one here, so maybe we'll have another good question for you uh, on Ask the Hermit. Ask the Hermit. Is that, <laughs> oh, you got a new series on your uh, channel? Ask the Hermit. Hermit. Man, you, you must really not like your viewers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do mailbags. Well, I, so yeah. Here's the weirdest thing about my channel. Uh -huh. And I don't understand, maybe you'll tell me that your channel is exactly the same and I'll just understand. But. Uh -huh. People send me messages mm -hmm. and write comments on my videos mm -hmm. asking about other people and their channels. <laughs> I get questions about Tyler all the time. Really? I get questions about you yeah. all the time. Huh. Do you ever get any questions about me? Uh, no. I get, yeah. a, I get a lot of comments, but I don't get any questions about you. No. Jeez. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe people just... I don't know. I can only assume that they think that since I talk to you guys all the time, I'll know more. Yeah. What you doing? I'm uh, contemplating. How? Oh. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take the ladies' route. I'm gonna contemplate once you get down there and let me know that your contemplation was good. Well, it worked out for me. All right. Yeah. I will. Appreciate your time and effort. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could have rode down that. I'm sure we could have rode down that. Oh, actually, that looks like it kind of sucks. Ha, ha, ha.